Hey everyone, my name is Pat. Welcome back to uh, my backyard. Today on the sawmill, we got this piece of a uh, really, really uh, goofy and, uh, and not in great shape hard maple. So this uh, this tree was not in uh, great shape when it was removed, and it's been sitting here for oh, like two and a half years. This was one of the first logs that I uh, brought here to the house after we moved here, and I actually unloaded it the day we moved my shop. So that's that's how long this thing has been. Uh, sitting here. I got this from my buddy Brent at Meridian Tree and uh, he saved it for me because it's kind of weird and goofy. So looking at this log, at least down here, we have a little bit of cracking. We got some bark inclusions and things, but it's in pretty good shape looking at the butt end of the log. If we come up to the uh, top side here, we got all kinds of rot inclusion as you can see. So there's probably some interesting voids up in here in the middle but what's most interesting about this log is there's so much figuring that's going to be in here so if you look at the side of this thing you can see all the undulation here in the uh in the tree and this is all the ripples from the figure the curl that is in there there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on basically everywhere we got these little lumps those are quilt lumps so there should be some quilted maple up in this zone, we got some curly maple here in the middle, and then there should be a pretty good amount of spalting kind of throughout because this thing has been sitting for so long, and it's been basically standing as a tree rotting <laughs> in place for so long. Like, look at all the ripples up in uh, up in here. Look, we even got some some trailer blood <laughs> from when it was on my trailer. So this is definitely one of those ones where I'm not really exactly sure the best way to saw it because. There's not going to be any crotch figure left because it's completely rotted out from down here. So the only, you know, crotch figure we'll have is from this little limb up here. So I'm going to cut it the way it's sitting on the saw right now. We'll have a little bit of crotch figure somewhere in that area there with the, um, the quilting there. And I don't know, we'll just see what we get out of it. This is one of those logs where it's probably not going to be full pieces. You're going to have a lot of little cuttings here and there to get some like fun interesting visual pieces so that's what this is probably end up being we'll come in here and we'll get this guy sliced up look at these ripples i'll cut some small stuff out of here and then we'll transition to cutting slabs the rest of the way through and yeah look at it. we got a bunch of this is all quilt all through here these little like kind of circly lump things so lots of figure lots of spalting let's uh let's start cutting Okay, let's see, uh, let's take a little closer look at this one because it's kind of bigger. But this stuff has been like really gnarly. It's like punky and spalted and kind of, at least this part's got some kind of weird curly, not curly, but like wavy circular grain thing going on. So yeah, that's, that's, that's some spalt for sure. Like there's, there's gonna be a lot of spalt in this, but there's so many like weird color shifts that happen in maple as it starts to uh, decompose. You can see we got a lot more reds in here. And we got some blues and stuff and oranges and this just, it's just pretty. So that's gonna be it for like a few pieces of four quarter. I think this might be like a variety pack kind of thing. So we'll probably do some eight quarter and maybe we'll get some, we'll see how things kind of look as we get into that rot area, but we might get some 10 quarter in the middle there and kind of just, we'll, we'll play it by ear.
Let's see what kind of weird, crazy stuff's going on here because it just keeps getting weirder and crazier. Besides the fact that there's this like big old hole right here. Fill up the log. <laughs> and I got dirt everywhere. There we go. Right here is where like, all the weird stuff's going on. We got all kinds of swirly stuff happening around this bark inclusion. And then we got spalting to uh, the either end with some fun color shifts. This is cool. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going on with this guy. This one's got the shrooms growing out of it. And I think there's actually, I don't know if it's just coincidental, but there is a, quite a lot of figure right here where these mushrooms are coming out of. So, you know, there's that. Right around this bark inclusion thing here. Some weird stuff and there is some curl going this way. Look at this. Micro spalting, I'll call it, like really fine lines. I like that. It's kind of fun versus these big thick lines. Different look. Here's the mushrooms. Oh, the two-parter. Look, now it's easier to move. That's a guitar body. Oh my God, never mind. Okay. We got a little bigger now. Yeah, there's, there's some figure in here, uh, like a lot. There's this weird like gray thing going on here that has some curl coming through it. And then over here around where this crotch used to be, there is some really cool figure there too. And then just kind of clears up down this way into some uh, bark inclusions and weird stuff and more spalting. Oh, that's solid. It's like the old days. I don't know how I'm gonna do this now. Bigger than me. Woo! All right, let's take a look at this guy before we actually cut it off the log. That was a nice little water thing I did just did. That had some pretty nice grace to it. Oh, look at look at all this. That's all curl around this bark inclusion thing here. Boop, 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 boop. All the way around. And this is just like the craziest color mush that I've ever seen. You got all this oranges and reds and stuff in here. Just kind of swirling together. I don't know. This is promising. Oh wow, that's in really good shape. It looked a lot worse from the outside. <laughs> I 
Okay, we lost a little bit. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. Let's see what we got. I missed half the slab. Okay, well, half it's like dirt though. It's just all dirt <laughs> from our hole. Okay, yeah, there's not much there. That's dirt, not black epoxy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, ho, ho. Yeah, I think like the top section of the tree is gonna be, I don't know, more useful pieces. Like bigger, bigger useful pieces. This has got all kinds of fun, like weird, like swirly things going up here. Maybe like, it used to be a burl here and now it's dissolved or something, right? In kind of in that zone there. Maybe out, out here too, it looks kind of burly. But this is just still like really solid. There's never like any like punkiness to it, like there is down here towards the base, which makes sense because it's surrounded by dirt for however many years it was standing as a tree. This one though, you got a lot of really cool color down here at the base. And at least down like the very far bottom here, still pretty, pretty solid. It's like this, this side of it gets kind of punky and soft, but this side stays pretty solid all the way through. And look, we do have, we got a little glistening bit of crotch figure here. So it's not a complete loss. <laughs> and then up here you have all kinds of fun swirly grains and things and it's still really solid and in uh, really good shape structurally. Like the, this is all kind of crazy out here though. There, there's your guitar body, right there. Boom, instant guitar. So I caught a glimpse of something kind of fun in here. Besides the fact that with this big void in here, it's a home for critters. So this is all feces and, and bits of poop in here. It's also, I don't know what this is, but it's plastic and we're gonna dig it out of here. It's kind of big. Is that a ball? A lid? A whole jug. What is this? A protein shake? Okay. I think I think this takes the uh, the title of weirdest thing I've found in a log. I, I okay. A dairy free protein shake in a maple log. Okay. That's a that's a new one for me. I think it's it's lunchtime. All right, I think we saw through more dirt than wood through this general area here. This is cool.
I lost some. <laughs> That's just all dirt. Should we uh, plant the garden? Okay, the dirty one. Oh boy. Oh, who put that fork there? This is a little uh, bendy. Uh, left some over there. <laughs> it's just, it's gone. Okay, let's see what we got going on in this thing. Boop. Well, that is cool. Actually, this has got some really weird colors. I like it. Not that I don't like many pieces of wood. And this guy, a little narrower, but Still kind of cool. Down here has got some crazy colors. This is some of the dirtiest stuff I've ever cut. There's just dirt everywhere. Man, it's just, it's just got a lot of really cool color and spot lines. So besides all the cool color here, we also have the spot line, which is actually two individual, like narrower spot lines really close to each other. So I don't think I've seen this kind of spot before. Normally it's like this, where it's like a single line, but we've got double line somehow over there, which is just crazy. And then coming over here, we have all kinds of like insect damage mixed in with the spot. And I think the most, most of what's going on down here at the base of the tree is just weird, colorful spots. But holy cow, up here with this like other limb thing up here, there's this like figure, and color and I don't know, every, everything, a little bit of everything, variety pack zone. Same thing is pretty true on this side with this limb situation here. We got all kinds of crazy swirly grain. This is like some early decay kind of staining going on here and just colors and there's a lot of figure coming in everywhere. So it's just like colorful figurey swirly grain banana zone. So these are pretty darn incredible. We still have this one on here still that's cut, but it's this log is getting kind of light. So I'm gonna keep cutting from this point so I keep some weight on here. Keep it from uh, shifting around. We'll have, uh, I think we'll have what, three more at the, uh, the nine quarter I've been doing, and then I'll be able to sneak a piece of four quarter out from the bottom before the cap piece. And on that cap piece, at least down here, I, I reach down here and I can kind of feel there is some uh, undulation and, you know, you know, the curly line things under there. So that last piece might have some pockets of curl and figure in there. So it should be a worthwhile thing to have. So back to song for a bit.
<laughs> this. Aha. Uh -huh. That top half's gonna go. There it goes. Goodbye, top half. Hey, look, some friends. You want some grubs? Hey, it's like that poop walnut. It's full of giant grubs that Matt brought home to his chickens. Actually, this was not as full of dirt as the last ones were. What's going on up here? Great compost. Okay, I'm gonna hit those grubs right off of there. <laughs> These are hard because it's just dirt. This looks pretty cool though. I mean, it's like, it's got a weird shape thing going on. This would be cool as like a tabletop with a fill. Cause otherwise it's pretty uniform, but it's got the squiggly grain, the spalt, the color, and yeah, it's got a lot going on. All right, so here's the top of that. This is the bit that came right off. And that's where all the cool like figure is from the, uh, what was the crotch of that tree? That's cool in itself. It's not really a whole lot of other things going on in that uh, section of the slab though. A lot of punkiness. Let's see what this one's got going on. That's nice. Down there is nice. Up there, also nice. So this is like a, I don't know, a more tame version of the last one. It's quarter sawn, so you got some really nice, clear, straight grain, especially up through that, uh, I don't know, the middle area there, very tight growth rings. And then things open up a little bit down here into like spalt land and colorful land. This one might stay together. Oh, we're kind of back to solid. I can tell because it's a lot heavier. At least it moves. Ah, this is looking kind of cool. This is promising. It promised me something. I don't know what. Okay, these are getting back to being a little more not holy, which is kind of a nice change, but still really dirty. So this one's got, I don't know, colors. It's kind of the same as the other ones, you know, really cool colors, cool spot lines. Oh, some crotch. Oh, that's cool. This well, crazy crotch figure, and then whatever this is going on here, all these like tracks and like splotchy things and stuff. That's actually pretty gorgeous. So this one I think is a little bit nicer because it's not missing as much material. Since the uh, the holes kind of gone away now, now we have actual wood again, which is nice. So we have all kinds of staining from around the rod area, but then it comes out into some nice, really nice kind of like orangey yellowy colors with the spalts. And then of course you come back up here, so we're all kinds of crazy figures happening. Look at all this figure. All this curl through here. We got the little bit of the crotch thing going on there. And then this right here is all like baby quilt. This zone right here. That's a lot, lots of figure right there. There's another guitar body. I didn't, there's not much here. There's not a whole lot left there on the bottom.
Not much left at all. So let's take a quick look at uh, these little pieces because they got, they got a lot going on, but there's also not that much here. There's not much left. A lot of colors and a whole heck of a lot of like bug damage or maybe they're woodpeckers. I don't know, they're probably actually like wormholes. Kind of a weird grayish, holy piece of wood. This one's got some stuff going on here with some figure in the middle-ish area right there. And then just kind of spalt and, I don't know, color. Spalt and color and stuff. So the last one here actually is fairly solid. This is like the least punky and rotten of all of them so far. And it's just got a lot of uniformity, I'd say. Uniform weirdness all the way through. Oranges and blues and yellows and spalt lines. All the way up through here, we have some kind of weird swirly thing happening around this not bark inclusion thing. And you know, the bug tracks. Lots and lots of bug tracks. So this worked out kind of how I was expecting and kind of not at the same time. I was expecting, you know, some unique areas or pockets of figure, but I think overall as like full on pieces of the wood, they also worked out sort of independently. So you do have like some fun cuttings you can get if you want to select various colorful or figured areas out of the slab, or they can be used as a full piece for like a tabletop with some kind of like glass or epoxy to fill the voids and make for some really interesting and unique uh, pieces of wood thingamabobbers. So yeah, it's a nice, fun, quick adventure. Song and Log's been sitting around for way too long. So thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about whatever the heck this thing was, the sawmill or anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.